Hey guys, it's Brittany Heckenberg here with the Heckenberg Group, and I am lucky enough today to have um, Megan Warren with me. And so Megan is the program coordinator for the uh, Downtown Evergreen Business Association. So she's going to chat with us a little bit about what's going on in Downtown Evergreen and how we all can help support local small businesses. So take it away, Megan. Hi, thanks hey. for having me today. Absolutely. Uh, so Downtown Evergreen is basically made of small businesses. And during this unprecedented, unstable, just unbelievable time, they could use support more than anything. Um, they are adapting. They are listening to the needs of the community. In return, the community is supporting them. But there's still more that everyone can do. We all want these businesses to survive and be around for many more years. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about uh, downtown Evergreen. So it is one of, actually one of my favorite little cities here in Colorado. So it's so cute and quaint and some really, really good people down there. So tell me if you have an idea of which businesses are open right now um, and kind of what they're doing to serve the needs of the Evergreen community in the surrounding areas. Sure, we still have the um, the restaurants and food service bars um, are all still open. They're, they are doing very unique things. It's not just their typical menu that's to go curbside. A lot of them have kept their employees on staff and they're offering delivery services, which is a luxury in the mountains. Yes, it is. Um, now that they, they've done lots of meal kits, they're doing drink kits, they're trying to keep it fun. They understand that a lot of people are at home. They don't want to leave. They're working from home. They're now teaching their kids at home. They don't have the time to cook. Um, so they're, they're listening. And the beauty of a small town is if you called one of these restaurants, you could easily say, this is what I'm looking for. I have this allergy or we want, we're looking for this. And they'd be like, okay, done. We'll take care of it. Because they just want to take care of the community as much as the community wants to take care of them. Um, there, there's some fun things like um, Cactus Jacks will do, they're doing delivery service. They'll do special, they'll do taco day, they'll do burrito day, they do mimosa kits. Um, Creekside Cellars, which is our winery that's in town, along with selling their bottles of wine, they're doing antipasta platters. Um, Maya's continues to just be great with the takeaway and curbside takeout in time. Uh, Muddy Bucks, Java Groove, really all of them, they're all kind of coming together for it. The, some of the other businesses for retail is probably the hardest because that is the one that it's non-essential. Sure. So it is taken down. So really they are going back to online sales as much as mm -hmm. they can. Um, a couple of boutiques are offering these personal virtual shopping, which is awesome. You get it customized to what you want. They kind of just want you to remember that while all this is going on, people are still having anniversaries. People are still having birthdays and they are working to put out these great deals, great specials. They have all of these spring lines in their store. Right. Um, they were getting up and ready for spring and summer, but they'll offer online services to where they'll do delivery. If it's local, a lot of times they'll also they can mail stuff out. Um, you can do gift cards for future purchases. They're working to put some things together for Easter baskets. So it's a one-stop shop because that's the next holiday we're all going to be home for. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so even, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. No. So I was gonna say, so even though if you yeah. drive through Evergreen, downtown Evergreen, and their doors are shut, those businesses are far from closed. Cool. You can still support them. Think ahead for holidays, think ahead for summer travel. Um, there's many, many ways to support them and they need, they need the support. Yeah. So how do we get um, so connected with these businesses? So just go to Evergreen Downtown Business Association and you guys have uh, stuff going on the website? We do. We have a website, downtownevergreen.com. Um, cool. You also, one of daily specials, discounts, all through social media goes through the heart of evergreen facebook page cool okay um to watch out for that they're also the evergreen chamber is doing takeout yeah. takeover 
which is a list of all of the restaurants that you can get takeout services from, as well as they're doing Shop Evergreen. So they have gone around to all the businesses and have made a one-stop shop for gift cards. And it all filters through one site, so you don't have to go through all the other sites, and then they will get all of the gift cards to all of the businesses. But, I mean, another thing, even if you're not in Evergreen, there's other ways to support support the community. If you know someone in Evergreen, um, order delivery to their house. You can do, hey, go down here. I got curbside takeout for you. You know, first responders. Any, there's still essential business workers all around Evergreen, and they, they'd love kindness right now. will go so far. Oh, totally. And so, and that's the piece that I'm just trying to pull up. I'm pulling up um, the website real quick. So downtown Evergreen, is that right, Megan? Yes, downtown Evergreen. You can link to all the businesses cool. downtown there, which will link to their websites mm -hmm. and social media pages. Cool, let me pull it up. Can you see that? In yes. Here? Okay, so business directory, all this stuff. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I love those whole daily deals. That sounds pretty fun. That's kind the of exciting. Yeah, the daily deals are great for um, a, a lot of the restaurants, the family platters, the kits. They really, I mean, they're just, cool. I'm so proud of them. They're just adapting, taking care of their community, taking care of their employees, and just they're going with it. They're moving forward because that's all we can do right now. You know what's so funny is um, I had just got an email from Evergreen Chamber of Commerce. And so um, I, it's one of my favorite chambers actually in the state. And it was really, really good information. So they would just went through and it was very community driven. Hey, if you guys need help, this grant's available. Hey, apply here. And so it's actually one of the first chambers and Ryan and I are plugged into a couple of them. And it was just a really sweet, heartfelt email. And so it just kind of, to me, resonates the spirit of Evergreen. So, you know, it's definitely a place we love to get up to and bring the kids and all of that good stuff. I would love to do some shopping. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll wait until we are back on our no, you know, our no quarantine kind of orders or stay at home orders. Right. But um, I love it. And so do you, is there a couple retail places that are doing stuff online as well that you know of? Oh, sure. So Sweetwater Boutique okay. and Sisters and Company are two that are doing their um, virtual shopping. Cool. The, um, the Seasonally Yours is still open for curbside, so you can get um, a lot of your candies, taffies, if you need stuff. She's working to get some things together for the cool. Easter baskets. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, the, jewel the jewelry shops, uh, Silver Arrow... The people are making their own decisions. They yeah. are, it's, it's, you know, it's the balance right now. Yeah. How much do you want your employees there? How much um, do you need to be open? Uh, where, where do you feel like you fall in this? The best thing to do is to call ahead, cool. um, get online. Everyone is available for online gift cards. Everyone cool. is going to be available. Um, and a lot of times the personal shopping in a sense that, they don't have to have it available. Like I said, the beauty of a small town, you can say, yeah. I have a baby gift coming up. I want to support local. Can you take a couple pictures and send to me what you have in the store? Cool. They would love and appreciate anything like that. Um, so like I said, the doors may be closed, but everyone is very much open. Oh, I love that. And you know, it's, it's definitely something that, you know, we want to do and kind of promote the word and help support small business. So, you yeah. know, that's what's going to keep us afloat. And that's truthfully speaking, that's the heart of the evergreen, right? So it's made up of a lot of small business owners. So that's what's pretty cool. So if we can keep these guys afloat and think of other ways outside the box to keep them going, I love the idea of just calling calling the place of business and saying, hey, what can you do? What can, what do you have? Can you take a couple pictures? So yeah, it's nice to one, have that communication, you know, via phone and actually talk to somebody and check in on them and see how they're doing too. So I love it. Yeah. I mean, most likely when you call one of these businesses, you get the owner. Yeah. I mean, that's this so is, cool. it is, um, it is mom and pop shops. They've been in families. You right. will speak to the owner directly and they are happy to speak with you. So Cool. Yeah, like cool. I said, as you're planning your summer, um, any of your travels, if you know you come up, if you know you have a favorite store, if you know you have a favorite restaurant, 
they would appreciate so much to have a gift card purchased right now that you would use in the future. Awesome. So tell me, you have two major events typically each year. And so you have the Damn Duck Derby coming up. So yeah, tell me about that. So Damn Duck Derby is going to be August 1st, the first Saturday in August, which you know, I look at it so differently this year because I feel like it's like a, you know, August 1st. I mean, it's just, it's out far enough. It's summertime. It is what summertime in the mountains is. And it's just, it's a fun family event encompasses all of downtown. Cool. We look forward to it. It helps um, by purchasing the ducks to go down the race down the uh, creek it funds our holiday walk, which is the first Friday in December. And we're working on some really great things this year. Already uh, changing out Santa and Mrs. Claus will, of course, be there. And then cool. we will have the street blocked off and all the fun things going on. But we're really trying to add to it and, cool. and promote and make some new events. We yeah. just, we, we're just trying to add more family events to downtown Evergreen. Uh, there's, there's so much to look forward to down there. Yeah. And it's beautiful. And why would you not want to? Yeah. So yes. Well, I love both of those events. They're so fun. They're so family friendly. And again, if anybody has the opportunity to support Evergreen and the small businesses, I say we do it. Um, and I'll put up a link um, of how they can get connected to all these different businesses. So yes. yeah. Awesome. Well, Megan, I so appreciate this. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's great to see your smiling face again and all the really cool things that you have going on in downtown Evergreen. Oh gosh. Thanks for letting us get out there. <laughs> yeah, anytime, anytime. All right. Well, have a good rest of your day and thank you so much, Megan. Sure. You too. Bye. <laughs>